Okay, hello everyone. Um, I'm making a video because I I'm making this video because I believe that I have found the best way to completely eradicate rogue threats from your computer. And to prove that I think that this is the best way, I have a virtual machine of Windows XP right here, and I'm going to um, perform my um, what is to my belief to be the best way to remove the viruses. I have five rogue threats right here and I'm going to be putting through them through these three scanners and these are the exe files for the scanners there are malware by its anti-malware, hitman pro, and super anti-spire all these are free scanners and well let me just show you how they perform let me start by installing all these rogue threats I think I'll come back when all this is done I won't close any of the windows that they open I'll just show you as is when they're all done installing okay hello everyone I'm back um, all the rogue threats are done installing and as you can see I am bombarded with pop-ups uh, the ones that were installed are security essentials 2010 antivirus elite um, antivirus PC 2009 general antivirus and anti-spyware that's the name of the program it's just called anti-spyware and you can see that I'm bombarded with all these pop-ups and everything saying that this computer is heavily infected with Trojans that just aren't there. Um, it's giving me all these things saying that, oh, they're adding to your startup. Do you want to authorize? I'll just click yes. And let's see if it'll let me access the task manager okay yes it does my um... my um... physical memory usage went up from one hundred from one hundred eighty megabytes to four hundred and nine megabytes and cpu usage is at one hundred percent so um... what i'm going to do is that i'm going to reboot this computer into safe mode and perform my um, removal process okay then so here I am in safe mode and the funny thing is, is that it removed all the icons except the ones that Windows thinks are legitimate and it actually thinks that anti-spyware is legitimate but I can guarantee you that it's not okay then let's get on with um uh, my removal process. I am in safe mode with networking turned off. So, to start the process, let's do a malware bytes anti malware quick scan. Okay, then. Uh, the malware bytes scan is done. It's found 41 infections. Let's see, show results. And a lot of these are registry keys, so let's remove these. Okay says that um, your computer needs to be restarted to complete the removing process I won't restart right now because next I'm going to do a super anti-spyware scan okay so super anti-spyware is done and may I remind you with super anti-spyware and malware bytes they do not have the latest definitions they're just they just did a scan with the definitions that they're pre-installed with and they found nine items and it says that you need to reboot for the harmful software to be removed yeah sure I'll reboot now and right now um, uh, the, the system should be clean enough for Hitman Pro to go in Hitman Pro requires networking so the system should be clean enough for Hitman Pro to go in and kill whatever's left of the programs then I decided I'm going to um, boot back up into normal mode update Malwarebytes drivers and I mean uh, definitions and update Super Anti Spyware's definitions and do one more quick scan and then this computer should be clean as a whistle right off the bat Hitman Pro found two they were the antivirus elite 
and um, I think setup one was antivirus PC 2009 let's delete those let's use a free license and delete these two and let us restart and now I think the system should be clean enough to boot into normal mode and then I can update Malwarebytes definitions and Super Antispires definition to one more quick scan with each of them and see if anything is left then this PC is good to go I'll pause until it's all um, booted up and that's Hitman Pro right there it's um it's doing a boot scan well like after f if the if it finds malware then upon next restart it'll do a boot scan and I'll come back when I update the definitions whoops okay hello everyone so uh the malware byte scan is done and it said that it found four items after I updated the the um definitions and I found and I did another super anti spyware scan and with new definitions if said I found nine more threats so say okay show results oh yeah and by the way when I booted up it um this icon was still here from one of the rogues security essentials 2010 and it found two more registry keys um with uh what's it called security essentials 2010 when I booted back up hitman pro did another scan because I found something previously and this time didn't find anything malware bytes found four more items and super anti spyware found nine more so let's remove these okay then let's restart this computer one more time and we'll see how much is gone okay well I see that that icon is still there and this antivirus elite thing is still here. It's all it says is uninstall. It's interesting. Say task manager. Yep, we went to from 408 megabytes of RAM being used to 132 or 28. Well, it's still piling up because it's still booting up, but yeah, that's about correct. Let me see if I already double click on this. Yep. That's gone, so that's just that's just a shortcut, but it's harmless because it was looking for that exe file, but the exe file's been gone a long time ago. If I were to say uninstall. Hmm. Eh, that's weird. I guess that was a legitimate uninstall folder. Because that did remove what was left of it. But yeah, that's it. And let's make sure that Internet Explorer hasn't been hijacked by ads. Let's search AVG. AVG is frequently hijacked for ads if you have rogue threats. That's the full website. How about Avast? Yep, that's a full website. One more. This computer is completely clean from viruses. All that was left was one little shortcut, but that was harmless. And there was um, one folder left, but I just... Um, that was a legitimate uninstall executable. Okay. That's it. This computer has been completely eradicated because of these three programs. Malwarebytes, um, Super Anti-Spyware, and Hitman Pro. Thanks. That's Windows 7 Linux. Please subscribe, please comment, goodbye.